Here's your KNDY weatherology forecast for northeast Kansas and southeast Nebraska. Sunshine mixed with clouds at times today with daytime highs approaching 88. Northeast winds 8 to 15 miles per hour. Lows level off around 65. Tonight, partly cloudy skies. Ample sunshine expected tomorrow. Daytime highs approaching 82. I'm staff meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. Currently 77. Mid American Network News. Night. Without power in Northeast Kansas. Several county emergency management directors are reporting damage following a severe storm that saw winds near 70 miles per hour in Northeast Kansas. Jefferson County is reporting that some trees are down and some of them are on vehicle lines and power lines have been pulled down onto a house. The local fire department was dispatched to a power pole and a tree on fire in McLuth. A rural Kansas prosecutor pressured about 50 women to send him nude photos, shared secret police information about potential targets of drug busts, and advised a client to break into a house. That's according to local law enforcement and court records. The Kansas Attorney General's office will decide whether or not to file criminal charges against Neosho County Attorney Linus Thuston and has known about the prosecutor's alleged crimes for more than a year. I'm Stephanie Austin. Fox Kansas News at 9. Join the award-winning Fox Kansas News team. The first on the air with world, state, and local news from the Wichita area you can trust. Get the first forecast of the night with accurate information to help you prepare for the day tomorrow. And stay up to date with the first sports scores from throughout the day for your favorite team. Get all the news you need in a concise half hour at a convenient time. Fox Kansas News at 9. Your news, your time. Channel 24, Cox Cable Channel 4. Horse Trailer Sales, the one call you need to make to get the most trusted brands in landscaping. Utility, livestock, and flat. Plus, the... And exceptional... That's why they're proud to be fee-owned. Horse Trailers, 605-572-92, or online at horsetrailers.com. Horse Rocky County Police are urging for two individuals who sold nearly $1,000 in merchants this past week from Manhattan to a store. The incident, which occurred on July 11th, was reported at 6 Monday at J.C. Or Riley County Police. was $80 over last night a report of possible number five on the the camera author and discuss Duzine Enterprises has been laying floors all over our area since 1962. That's miles and miles of carpet, laminate, tile, hardwood, and vinyl. And they are so good at it that their schedule is filling up fast. So while good things come to those who wait, if you have a remodel or a new construction project in your near future, you should probably get on their schedule today. So call 785-325-2379. That's 785-325-2379. Duzine Enterprises in Washington. Why would you go anywhere else? Financing available. Nebraska Mid American Network News. I am Felix Jones. And earlier this week, 37 year old Andrew Moss was sentenced to 90 days in jail, five years probation, and ordered to pay almost $150,000 in restitution for felony theft by unlawfully taking $5,000 or more. The sentence was in line with a plea bargain reached with prosecutors this spring. Moss was the former director of St. Paul Lutheran Church Cornerstone Early Learning Center and was arrested back in November when the church reported a theft in excess of $150,000. 
dollars. Court records show police found numerous suspicious transactions connected to Moss, including $50,000 in ATM withdrawals and $97,000 in Visa gift cards. Investigators determined that the money was deposited into Moss's personal bank accounts and into his online gambling accounts. Moss is required to pay off the restitution at the rate of $500 a month. Nebraska Mid-American Network News. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your summer, folks, but my friends at Midwest Kia are celebrating Christmas in July. Visit Midwest Kia and get your gift before I've even had time to check the list to see if you've been naughty or nice. Here's a sneak peek into Santa's bag. Interest rates as low as 0% on EV models and 1.9% on non-EV models. $10,000 off MSRP on the North American SUV of the year EV9. And you'll receive a 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty on every new Kia. Don't forget, Santa's here to help everyone. We'll work with all credit types to get you the best deal on any vehicle on the lot. This Christmas in July, fight off hot temperatures with a cool new Kia from Midwest Kia and enjoy a better way to buy. Ho, ho, ho. And remember, we want to see you in a Midwest Kia. $21.65 per thousand finest. See store for details. Reporting local news, I'm Bruce Deerking. Today is the final day for voter registration for the August 6th primary. In Marshall County, you can register at the county clerk's office or any city office or online at ksvotes.org. Those who have moved or changed names since last election must also re-register. Advance voting begins tomorrow at county clerk's offices running through noon, August 5th, and advance ballots may be requested a number of contested local and state races will be decided in the August primary in advance of the November general election. Marshall and Washington County Commissioners meetings last week were mostly routine business. A request to allow change of operating hours, the Marshall County Health Department was heard, opening earlier at 7.30 a.m. to better serve patrons needing to go to work or school. Extended hours until 6.30 p.m. Wednesdays was suggested as well, closing then on Fridays. Commissioners will discuss further and made no decisions. The Health Department will be doing monthly outreach clinics in communities throughout the county and has purchased 100 weather radios with grant funds that will be distributed at the Marshall County Fair. Tuesday fires up the annual Washington County Fair. Check-ins, including open class entries, accepted for 30 till 8 p.m. today. Livestock entries this evening. Wednesday judging is underway with a 4-H horse show plan. A pet show Wednesday afternoon at 2 under the tent north of the Rock Barn. And the swine show Wednesday evening. Activities continue Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. KNDY will air pre-fair interviews with the 4-H youth this week with live reports from the fairgrounds Thursday, Friday, and Saturday afternoons in Washington. Kansas Department of Health and Environment is requiring the city of Washington to move rubble from the teardown of the former city hall, which was completed late February. After it was discovered that it could not be used by road and bridge, it was taken by the contractor to a location at 15th and Madison Road. Potential asbestos contamination, because it was not tested, raised concern by the state agency, which is forcing removal to a site near Salina. The city asked for allowance to test materials at the current location, but were denied. It's estimated the cost involved could be some $175,000 for a licensed contractor, with an additional $45,000 in landfill fees, adding to a total cost of some $220,000. The nearly century-old vacant building was demolished as it had deteriorated over time and multiple efforts to sell or restore the structure had not come through. Your news on your time. A podcast of our morning and midday news blocks available on our website, kdyradio.com, and our social media. Richard G. Beveridge, age 85, of Lincoln, passed away July 13th. A graveside service is planned Thursday, 11 a.m. at the Marysville City Cemetery with Kinsley Mortuary Marysville in charge of arrangements for Richard Beveridge. Ronald L. Holler, age 78, of home, passed away July 13th. 
funeral service Thursday at 1 at Christy Anders Funeral Home in Waterville. Visitation Wednesday from noon until 8. Family visitation Wednesday from 6 until 8 at the Christy Anders Funeral Home in Waterville in charge of arrangements for Ron Haller. Norlene M. Cornett, age 101 of Barnston, passed away Thursday. A visitation is planned this Wednesday, which is her birth date, 1 until 8 p.m. with family greeting friends from 6 until 7.30 at the Laughlin of a Funeral Home in Wymore with a memorial service Thursday at 4 p.m. at the Laughlin Hobbit Funeral Home in charge of arrangements for Norlene Cornett. Janetta Frerich, age 93, of Blue Springs, passed away Saturday. Funeral service Friday, 1030, at the Fox Funeral Home, Beatrice. Burial in the Evergreen Home Cemetery. Visitation Thursday, noon until 8. Family will greet friends Thursday from 6 until 8. At the Fox Funeral Home of Beatrice, in charge of arrangements for... Janetta Frerix. It's that time of year. Hey, Blue Valley customers, come see us this summer at one of the county fairs to pick up your customer appreciation coupons for the 4-H food stands. Help us celebrate another year of keeping our communities connected and how much we appreciate the opportunity to serve you. Find the full schedule at bluevalley.net forward slash summer. Marysville Chamber and Main Street invite all to discover downtown Marysville this Thursday evening from 5 p.m. until 7.30. Shop the exceptional downtown merchants all evening and take tours of the second and third stories of commercial properties along Broadway, including the historic Kester Block and Old Masonic Lodge. At 6.30 p.m., join in a ribbon cutting at 916 Broadway for Bolton and Westbrook offices, all leading up to the final Marshall County Community Band concert in the beautiful Kester House Gardens. Discover what makes downtown Marysville shine this Thursday evening from 5 p.m. until 7.30 with this final Discover Downtown event, brought to you by Marysville Chamber and Main Street. Here's your KNDY weatherology forecast for northeast Kansas and southeast Nebraska. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms are possible early on today, then mostly sunny with our highs in the upper 80s and lower 90s. Partly cloudy skies overnight tonight with our lows in the lower to upper 60s. More sunshine throughout the day on Wednesday, cooler with our highs in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Then clear skies throughout Wednesday night with our lows in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Some sunshine throughout Thursday with our highs in the lower to upper 80s. Then mostly clear skies throughout Thursday night with our lows in the lower to mid 60s. Still sunny as we head into Friday with our highs in the lower to upper 80s. Then a slight chance for some rain showers throughout Friday night, mostly cloudy with our lows in the lower to upper 60s. Rain showers and thunderstorms are possible throughout the day on Saturday, mixing with sunshine with our highs in the upper 70s and mid 80s. Showers and thunderstorms are possible into Saturday night, mostly cloudy with our lows in the lower to upper 60s. Showers and thunderstorms continue into Sunday, otherwise partly sunny with our highs in the mid to upper 70s throughout the state. I'm meteorologist Kara Foster. Average high temperature, mid-July 91, record high on this date 114. The average low 70, the record low 51. Sunset this evening 852, sunrise in the morning 614. Passing thunderstorm overnight yielded just a few hundredths of an inch here at studios in Marysville. Reducing indoor humidity with houseplants. That's our topic on the Dog Days of Summer edition of the Old Farmer's Almanac Radio Report. If you're a farmer or rancher, chances are you've thought about joining Kansas Farm Bureau. So what's stopping you? Your membership means you have a seat at the table when it comes to the issues that affect your farm. Things like trade, taxes, water, and regulations. The state's largest farm advocacy organization brings your message to policy decision makers at the county, state, and national level. The voice of agriculture becomes your voice and fights for Kansas farmers and ranchers. And a Kansas Farm Bureau membership includes other benefits. For about $50 a year, you'll receive discounts on equipment and supplies, cell phone plans, financial and legal support, home and office supplies, and more. You'll also receive Kansas Living, a quarterly lifestyle magazine featuring real stories of farmers and producers around the state, plus great recipes, crafts, and things to see and do in Kansas. Join us today. Visit kfb.org slash farmer rancher to learn more. With more practical tips and useful advice, this is the Old Farmer's Almanac Radio Report for Tuesday, July 16th, the 198th day of the year. 
Comedian Will Ferrell has a birthday, and J.D. Salinger published his novel The Catcher in the Rye on this day in 1951. Many people move indoor plants outside this time of year to reduce indoor humidity, but some types of plants can actually reduce the humidity in your home. The Peace Lily is a virtual air purifier. It absorbs moisture as well as dangerous mold and organisms. The Reed Palm has similar benefits, and it does well in shade and partial lighting. For humid air near the ceiling, try English ivy in a hanging basket. Antilansia is often called an air plant for its ability to absorb all the moisture and nutrients it needs directly from the air. There is your Old Farmer's Almanac Radio Report. Sign up for our free newsletter at almanac.com. Re-elect Angela Hecke, 22nd Judicial District Magistrate Judge, serving you and the citizens of Marshall County the past 19 years with a lifetime of education and experience. I would appreciate your vote in the upcoming primary, August 6th. Something changing with your student school meals. School meals will no longer be free to all families unless they apply and qualify for free and reduced price meals. Nutrition is an important part of learning. Kansas schools and child nutrition staff work hard to ensure students have access to tasty and nutritious meals each school day. Applying for free and reduced price meals is fast and easy. To learn more and see if your household qualifies, contact your local school today. Brought to you by the Kansas Department of Education and this station. Kansas Mid-America Network Sports. I'm Andy Hoosier. Kansas State Wildcats baseball player Brady Day is officially taking his talents on the ball field to the next level by being drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies. KSNT News reports that the redshirt junior was selected in the 10th round as draft number 312 overall by the Phillies as the fourth Wildcat to be drafted for the year of 2024 following teammates Colleen Culpepper Tyson Neighbors and Jackson Wentworth. Day was returning to K-State for the 2024 season after being drafted in the 12th round by the Atlanta Braves back in 2023. As wrapping up this 2024 baseball season, he finished off with a record of a 318 batting average with 75 hits, 56 RBIs, and 9 home runs overall. It also contributed to the aggressive approach of base paths, tallying 16 stolen bases in 2024 and 26 total in his three-year career at Kansas State. Kansas Bit American Network Sports. Rusty Eckport is offering you freedom from down payments and no monthly car payments all summer long. Celebrate your independence by breaking free from monthly payments for up to 90 days. Rusty Eckport has explosive deals on over 200 new Fords with rates as low as 0% APR or 2023 Ford Escape Plug-In Hybrid 0% APR for 60 months or 2023 Mach-E 0% APR for 72 months or get a 2023 Ford F-150 1.9% APR for 72 months. Months. Don't miss out on these star spangled savings with no payments this summer. Take advantage of freedom from down payments and independence from monthly payments for up to 90 days. Visit Rusty at Ford or Rusty at Ford.com today. Escape 1667 per thousand finance. Mach E 1389 per thousand finance. F 150 1471 per thousand finance. Plus taxes and fees offers can't be combined with approved credit plus finance with Ford Motor Credit. An Iowa State representative had been called up to the Sioux City Explorers as they needed a pitcher calling up the elected official in a short amount of time to step into the game. Part of me thought maybe it was a joke, but uh, no, it ended up being absolutely magical. I called him and I said, I need you. He's like, I don't know if I can. And I I, I just said, look, I, I don't care what you give me. Like, I just need someone to go in there and throw strikes. And uh, he said... I, I think I can do that, but I got to have someone pick up my shift. So he called me back 10 minutes later and said he's in. That audio from KSN News as J.D. Schulten ended up getting called up to the minors. As according to team officials, they say it was a complete scramble until right at the end. The lineup card had all the players' names on there. And then it had a question mark right there with the pitcher's name, a big question mark. And you're like, who's it going to be? I mean, it was a big question mark. And uh, I, I've never seen a lineup card in all the years I've done this had just a question mark, and that was the official lineup had a question mark just two hours before game time. At American Network Sports. Marysville American Legion post-163 senior Legion baseball team finished regular season play Saturday, falling to Grand Island 13-12, then taking Holdridge 13-6 to finish the regular season campaign 14-12. Marysville is second seed to Concordia, in the double-A zone tournament at Beloit starting Wednesday. 
Marysville will face third seed Beloit in first round action around 5.30 Wednesday, while Concordia takes on Larnet in the opener. Winners in the first round play a late game Wednesday in the double elimination 14 bracket. Marysville Juniors finished the season 16-7, and dropping a pair of games in zone play, falling to host Clay Sutter 5-3, and then Newton 11-8 to end their year. Since 1976, Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions has been your farm and home marketing team. Let the experienced family team of Tom and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you when buying or selling a home or farmland. Delivering timely, honest, and professional guidance, visit olmsteadrealestate.com to view current listings and auctions. Your farm and home marketing team is Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions. All new 2024 Chevy Silverado pickups got to go to make room for the 25 models. And the Nordis Motor Company has a Silverado 1500 model LT Trail Boss Edition. 1500 model in Colorado work trucks, they're four-wheel drive. And a pair of 2500 Z71 package Chevy Silverado pickups. They're new and they're ready for your test drive at the Nordis Motor Company in Marysville. After the storm, Chromie Lumber has everything you need to build it back. If the roof needs repair, build it back with quality shingles, including hail and wind-resistant styles, as well as metal roofing options. Let them help guide your best decision as to what's right for your home. Storms or not, is it time to update your home's windows and doors? Chromie Lumber can get a free estimate with whatever fits your needs. Increase energy efficiency, improve the looks, and make cleaning them easier. Glass and screen repair always available as well. Chromie Lumber has everything you need to build it back. Shop local. Shop Chromie Lumber. Marysville and Washington. Keep dahlias looking their best with a bit of summer care. Hi, I'm Melinda Myers, horticulturist and gardening expert. Watch for holes in leaves and flowers. Slugs and earwigs are often the culprit. Both pests prefer cool, dark, damp conditions and usually feed at night. Trap slugs with shallow cans sunk into the ground and filled with beer. Or use the eco-friendly slug products that have iron phosphate as their active ingredient. This stomach poison kills slugs but won't harm people, pets, or wildlife including the birds and toads that eat these pests. Trap earwigs with a piece of crumpled paper placed under a clay pot or with a cardboard cylinder filled with straws. Each morning, knock the trapped earwigs into a can of soapy water. Water thoroughly whenever the top few inches of soil are crumbly and moist. Use a watering wand, drip irrigation, or soaker hoses to avoid wet foliage and reduce the risk of disease. Check out our website for this and other gardening tips. Find out what's bugging you and your house plants. Trap indoor plant pests with Summit Sticky Traps. The yellow attracts fungus gnats, aphids, thrips, leaf miners, and other harmful pests feeding on your plants. The sticky surface traps the insects where they die without applying a pesticide. Set the trap in the pot and replace once it's covered with insects or every three months. Summit Sticky Traps are available at garden centers and hardware stores. Visit SummitResponsibleSolutions.com for more information. Hi, I'm gardening expert Melinda Myers. Want to increase your gardening skills and grow beautiful and productive gardens? The Great Courses, How to Grow Anything, DVD series can help. As host of the series, I show you how to design, plant, and maintain gorgeous gardens. So join me in becoming the best gardener you can be. The four Great Courses, How to Grow Anything, DVD sets cover such topics as container gardening, landscape design, food gardening, and more. Visit MelindaMyers.com for more details. This place isn't really a town, yet it has its own zip code. Sometimes it's a bit of a game to see exactly how much or how little you can write on an envelope and still get a letter to arrive here. Chances are, if you simply write the zip code, it will arrive at this place. And it's next on the American Countryside. What's the first thing you do in the morning? For many farmers and ranchers, it's checking weather and market updates. Make AgWeb Daily Newsletter part of your morning routine. Not only bringing you essential news and weather updates, but also covering topics such as smart farming and agriculture's next generation. And each weekday, stay informed and stay ahead with AgWeb Market Weekly. Whether you're at home or in the field, AgWeb Market Weekly keeps you connected and competitive, delivered straight to your inbox. Subscribe to both today at agweb.com and never miss a beat. I'm Ty Morgan, host of U.S. Farm Report, the only weekend television show that features some of agriculture's biggest names. From custom commentary from John Phipps to the stories of antique iron with Machinery Pete to a list of more than 30 marketing analysts, our weekly program focuses on the topics that matter most to you. We invite you to join us each weekend for U.S. Farm Report, timely, trusted tradition. 
At exit 68 on Interstate 80 in Wyoming, you'll see what appears to be a town called Little America. Spencer Riggs says it's really not a town, but rather the complex that S.M. Covey built for travelers in the 1930s. It does have its own zip code, though. Having its own zip code and being as unique as it is, you can write simply a zip code and we'll get it. We've tried that several times. I like to fish, and so I commonly will use the address Big Fish Little America, Wyoming. And I'll put that out there with the zip code and I'll get it. There's a post office here. It's part of one of the buildings that has hotel rooms. And if you're driving here, you won't miss the place, given all the signs you'll see. As you go down I-80, you're going to see our big, bright, red, white, blue billboards that have just a couple of words message that lets you know the sort of services we have. That's the way they advertised from the beginning, and it still works today. Promoting such things as the ever-popular 75-cent cones. You'll also find an interesting animal depicted here. A lot of businesses have like their little mascot or something that represents them. The penguin is a really fun way to represent Wyoming, and we get asked that all the time. Why so many penguins? And those penguins are a tip of the hat to Admiral Byrd's Little America post in Antarctica. While Admiral Byrd was there, they captured 13 different penguins and brought them back on an expedition. Knowing about Little America that had been established, he brought some of those to us as a gift. In fact, you'll find one of those stuffed penguins from Antarctica in the hotel lobby and images of penguins adorning the tops of many buildings. Spencer says that they have everything that S.M. Covey established here in the 1930s, but it's now newer and better, attracting a new generation of travelers to the outpost along the transcontinental route. Traveling the countryside in Little America, Wyoming, I'm Andrew McRae. There will be a farm machinery auction for Hammond Farms Saturday, July 20th, 10 a.m. at the farm southwest of Marysville. Selling a combine, tractors, machinery, stock, trailers, pickups, and tools to include a 2003 Case IH Axial Flow Combine, two 20-foot IH Case Combine headers with trailers, Case IH 9270, tractor, John Deere 4630, tractor, John Deere 4630, tractor, Westendorf loader, John Deere 4430, tractor, Oliver 1755, tractor, hydraulic three-point blade, platter, disc, Drill, field cultivator, ripper, round baler, stock trailers included 2,000 24-foot Titan stock trailer, 98 Titan 20-foot stock trailer, selling several pickups plus tools including log chains, lots of scrap iron, riding lawnmowers, 150 railroad ties, and miscellaneous. This farm machinery auction for Hammond Farms Saturday, July 20th, 10 a.m., just west of 828 Pheasant Road, Marysville. Homestead and Sandstrom will be the auctioneers. Cattle don't like extreme heat any more than we do. Hi, I'm Jody Henke. Here's what you can do to help cattle avoid the effects of heat stress as you're living the country life. Living the country life. Ideas and inspiration for your place in the country. You can find more information on today's topic and from previous shows by visiting us online at livingthecountrylife.com. We'll return to the show after these messages. The new John Deere Gator XUV lets you cut, pack, drive, scout, weld, stack, feed, pull, load, tow, spray, and haul. All in a single day. Because with the highest cargo box volume in its class, customizable features, and a towing capacity of up to 4,000 pounds, it gets the job done. You just have to get in the seat. Learn more at your John Deere dealer or visit johndeere.com slash GatorXUV. If you're looking for ideas and inspiration for your place in the country, register for the Living the Country Life newsletter. You'll receive helpful tips and information about a wide variety of seasonal topics, including pets, livestock, gardening, machinery, and more, delivered straight to your inbox twice each month. Sign up for your newsletter today at agriculture.com. in the summer, they require the same comforts that we do on a sizzling hot day. They should have access to shade with good airflow and ventilation. Water is a big deal and there should be plenty of it available at all times. Cattle will drink out of a muddy pond if they have to, but it's better to have cool, fresh water. It's been said that 40 degrees is considered t-shirt weather for cows, so on these hot days, watch for signs of heat stress. They can include labored breathing, open mouth breathing, and restlessness. 
Dr. Brian Lubers is an associate professor of food animal therapeutics at Kansas State University. He says along with noting daytime high temperatures, you should also monitor the nighttime low temperatures. When the sun's out and it's hot, they'll absorb a lot of heat and then they'll dissipate that heat in the overnight hours as it cools off. When we get into trouble, especially with the more extreme heat stress events, is when we don't have those cooler nighttime temperatures. And so if I'm telling people to really watch for heat stress, it's when those nighttime temperatures are staying high as well, because it doesn't allow cattle to get rid of that heat in the cooler hours. And certainly when we have multiple days in a row of that kind of weather pattern, that's really a time to be vigilant. If you don't have to handle cattle during times of extreme daytime and nighttime temperatures, he says it's best to avoid it. But if you have to, make sure you're handling cattle kind of in the coolest part of the day, which is generally early, early morning. So if we can do it even a little bit as the sun's coming up or even a little bit before, that's a good time because that exercise and motion is just going to make that heat stress worse if they're already stressed a little bit. Learn more about heat stress and cattle at livingthecountrylife.com. I'll see you in the country. Living the Country Life, ideas and inspiration for your place in the country. You can find more information on today's topic, share your tips, and post photos by visiting us online at livingthecountrylife.com. Proverbs 21.5 reads, steady plotting brings prosperity. Hasty speculation brings poverty. Hi, I'm Rob West with today's Faith and Finance Minute. Steady plotting may not be exciting, but there's no better way to ensure your long-range investing pays off. The stock market's seen record highs, breathtaking falls, and rapid recoveries. People poured everything into stocks only to pull it out later. That's not steady plotting. To invest wisely, take a long-term view of the market. Invest in stocks only with money that you don't need for at least five years. Ten is better. Contribute a set amount every pay period so you buy more shares when stocks are down and fewer when they're up. That way you can take your mind off the market as your steady plotting brings prosperity. Get biblical answers to your financial questions in the FaithFi community. Download FaithFi, Faith and Finance in your app store or visit faithfi.com. Are you looking for a fun and rewarding full or part-time career? Can you imagine having the evenings, weekends, and summers off? Many Kansas School Nutrition Programs are seeking individuals who enjoy giving back to their community and helping children build their future. A wide variety of immediate positions are available nearby. Contact your local school district or food service director for more information on current positions available. Sponsored by the Kansas Department of Education and aired in cooperation with the Kansas Association of Broadcasters in this station. Pursuit of net zero emissions for the U.S. dairy industry, today on Farm to Fork. If you're ready to try a highly effective microbial soil inoculant, then Rhizol from ProGrow Bio should be your first choice. Rhizol offers multiple benefits like enhanced biomass, bigger yields, and improved soil health. 100% organic and works with conventional or organic crops and comes in a soluble dry form for easy handling and long shelf life. Search the web for R-H-I-Z-O-L from ProGrow Bio. Hey there, it's Mike Rowe, and if you're out there getting dirty, do me a favor and remember to call or click 811 before you dig. And when I say dig, I refer to any activity requiring boring, tilling, drilling, probing, reaming, plowing, drudging, or even scoping. Anything that causes you to roll up your sleeves a little and dig in requires you to first connect with 811 so that you can avoid all those buried pipes, wires, and cables underground. To sum up, call or click 811 before you dig and visit safeexcavator.com for more information. It's year four of the six-year Dairy Soil and Water Regeneration Project, a collaboration between industry, academia, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture that seeks to achieve net zero emissions for dairy producers. Mara Clotier is with the Soil Health Institute. We have all these site partners across the U.S., and what we did was we built in experimental treatments that were regionally appropriate. The treatments that we're using in California might not be exactly the same treatments that we're using in Wisconsin because dairy farming just looks different there. While the experimental treatments vary regionally, Clotier says the results are looked at more uniformly. 
we are using the same protocols across all of these partner research stations to collect the data. All the soil data, the greenhouse gas emissions data, and the plant data, so yield and quality. So we can make these comparisons across the regions and identify regionally appropriate management systems for farmers to utilize. The project is designed to do more than just reduce greenhouse gases. It's also pursuing improvements in soil health, water quality, water conservation, and creating more efficient crop nutrient qualities in livestock manure. That's Farm to Fork. I'm Daryl Anderson. Washington County Fair, 150 years of country roots and cowboy boots. This year's fair runs July 16th through the 21st. With check-in of exhibits Tuesday, July 16th, beginning at 4.30. Open class entry till 6.30, 4 H till 8. Judging gets underway Wednesday with a ranch rodeo on Thursday evening at 8, along with Indian hoop dancers. Friday includes livestock judging, buyer's appreciation meal, and the livestock auction beginning at 7 p.m. A dodgeball tournament's planned with dueling pianos live on the tennis courts Friday night. Saturday, the Moto Rodeo is back. The annual fair parade downtown begins at 6 Games and a pedal pull will follow with the Travis Gibson Band live Saturday night. For information, go online to WashingtonCountyKSFair.com or their Facebook page. The Washington County Fair, July 16th through the 21st. 150 years of country roots and cowboy boots. Road Ag Sales have concept by Agritech. Innovative technology and proven products improve soil health, increase yields, and allow greater return on your investments. See the difference for yourself with a call today to Third Road Ag. Hay producers, remember they offer American Family Net Wrap and can fill your needs today. Check out Third Road Ag Sales on Facebook. Today, learn more about how Ag Reliant Genetics specializes in genetic seed diversity, which means multiple hybrids with different genetic backgrounds originating from both male and female crop seed. Different backgrounds give different traits for use in a variety of geographic areas and a variety of management styles in order to help farmers mitigate issues and increase yields. That's today on Successful Farming. Check out our full lineup of Successful Farming podcasts. The Successful Farming podcast goes in-depth into the topics that affect farmers and ranchers. The 15 Minutes with a Farmer podcast offers a quick conversation between an editor and a farmer. The SF Shorts podcast offers bite-sized interviews about agricultural topics. And the SF Daily podcast covers commodity markets, weather, and the big things happening in agriculture each morning. Search for Successful Farming wherever you download your podcasts. Now you can read Successful Farming magazine on your tablet or smartphone. Each issue includes ideas you can take with you to the field, pasture, barn, or even the shop. With the Texter app, you can enjoy over 200 magazines anytime you want. The Texter app is only $9.95 per month, and you can start enjoying your digital editions of Successful Farming Magazine today. Successful Farming Magazine is for families who make farming and ranching their business. Visit Texter.com and subscribe today. Since 2007, AgriLiant Genetics has been selling LG seeds. An agronomist, Mark Grunmeyer, explains how genetic diversity is key to a producer's success. As a corn grower, soybean grower, any kind of farmer, managing risk is probably a key to the success. So genetic diversity gives a grower a chance to uh, mitigate the risk with emergence, early season vigor, ear development in the early stages at V5, root strength, flowering dates, grain field periods, stock quality dry down, uh, just so many different different opportunities to help manage risk on their end. Grunmeyer says that crop scouting has revealed emergence issues due to dry soils, as well as heat stress and disease pressure, including tar spot. So we had we had very good luck this past year with uh, 66 C44, uh, 116 day. On our dry land ground, we had 64 C43, 114 day product on our irrigated rotated ground. We had two very good dry land products, 62 C22 at 112 day and 59 C72 at 109 day. Uh, both those worked very well dry land, handled some stress very well and uh, maintained some some good yield potential through some pretty tough situations. You can get more information on LG Seed at agrilliantgenetics.com. Grunmeyer points out that LGC has a full lineup offering including corn, soybean, grain and forage sorghum and alfalfa. I'm Lori Boyer. For more ag information, log on to agriculture.com. 
Planning for the future includes accounting for the present. Crop insurance protection assures that your farming operation will withstand the variabilities of weather and potential disaster. Rely on the coverage that crop insurance provides. And rely on Linda Schmitz with Linda's Insurance Agency for the experience and personal service that she offers. Call today and update your crop insurance options. That's Linda's Insurance Agency, 1507 Broadway in Marysville. From Kansas State University, this is Agriculture Today. I'm Shelby Varner. Soybean growers could be seeing their crops looking a little rough, and it could be because of nutrient deficiencies. K-State Soil Fertility Specialist Dorvara Diaz discusses the two categories of nutrients in plants and how growers can see the difference. First, the the group of mobile nutrients within the plants, those are things like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, uh, magnesium. And these are basically nutrients that can move within the plant, uh, which means typically the deficiency show up in the lower older leaves because the the plants are basically moving these nutrients towards the the new growing parts of of the plant. We have the immobile nutrients within the plant, uh, which typically are not able to move within the plant. So therefore, uh, the deficiency symptom tends to show up in the younger new leaves. So that's one easy way to kind of classify the deficiency symptoms. Of course, the immobile nutrients within the plant are a lot of the micronutrients, things like iron, zinc, sulfur, uh, boron. Uh, Those are uh, deficiency symptoms that we may see in some cases in Kansas. And again, usually will tend to show up in the, uh, in the younger leaves. And so, again, that's, that's one easy way to start to look at some of those. Uh, and, of course, each of these nutrients have some specific things that we need to pay attention to as well. He explains a few possible causes of nutrient deficiency in soybeans. Of course, there are many reasons for, for potential deficiency symptoms. The main one, of course, is that we uh, simply maybe have very low levels of nutrients in the soil. So, of course, we need to follow up with soil tests to confirm that. But in some cases, we do see also some level of nitrogen deficiency, for example, uh, which could be related to poor nodulation. As we know, soybeans going to be fixing most of the nitrogen that's going to use. But again, if we do have poor nodulation, then that can result in nitrogen deficiency. Things like very low pH or very high pH pH will also affect nutrient availability and nutrient uptake. And so those, again, can be reasons why we're seeing some deficiency symptoms. Again, the best best way to find that out is basically with, with soil tests. The reason for soybean nutrient deficiency could be due to crop injury instead of a lack of nutrients in the soil. And in some cases, we can also see uh, simply some issues with things uh, affecting root development, things like compaction or, or some root injuries that may be affecting that nutrient uptake. So this is important to think about this because once we identify what is the nutrient uh, deficiency, the next question is what's causing that deficiency. And, and that's where we oftentimes need to go and collect soil samples to find out exactly what's going on in, in that soil. That was K-State Soil Fertility Specialist Dorvar Ruiz Diaz on a few reasons soybean growers could be seeing their crop have a lack of nutrients. I'm Shelby Varner and this has been Agriculture Today over the K-State Radio Network. Clothing, boots, accessories and more in stock at Valley Vet Supply in Marysville where great prices come with friendly service. For the Western or everyday work lifestyle, I'll fit every member of your crew with jeans, boots, shirts, outerwear, And accessories, too. Plus, ranchers know that everything to keep your animal healthy and safe is found at Valley Vet. Order online for delivery or pickup in store. Valley Vet Supply in Marysville, your dedicated source for all things livestock, pet, and horse supplies. From ABC News, Wall Street Now. A morning surge brought the Dow further into record territory. The Dow up more than 500 points in morning trading. The S&P also higher, while the NASDAQ was about even. Retail sales were unchanged in June, according to numbers from the Commerce Department. This followed a three-tenths of a percentage point increase in May, but actually defied projections of a consumer cutback. Outside of gas stations and auto dealers, sales were up by eight-tenths of a percentage point. Last month, the Commerce Department banned the use of software from cybersecurity firm Kaspersky, citing its Russian connections as a national security risk. The Moscow-based company now says in a statement it will gradually wind down its U.S. operations starting July 20th, and U.S.-based jobs will be cut. Cybersecurity important today for bargain hunters on Amazon Prime Day. The Better Business Bureau says these major retail events usually lead to an increase in phishing attempts.